Hi everyone, I'm Margaret Arnold. I'm with the World Bank in Washington, D.C. and we are here in Geneva at the fourth World Reconstruction Conference. And I'm talking to Eddie Ndopu, an inclusion activist from South Africa. So Eddie, we're here at WRC4 talking about social inclusion after disasters when communities and countries are recovering. Can you um, just share some of your reflections on that topic and what are the challenges um, with persons with disabilities? Uh, people are being left behind and there is political will that is required to ensure that the most neglected and the most vulnerable segments of society, like people with disabilities, are at the heart of the planet's vision for itself. Uh, and people with disabilities constitute the world's largest minority group, 15% um, of the global population, yet people with disabilities are systematically uh, forgotten about. In the world of disaster risk management, we often talk about people, persons with disabilities being literally, physically left behind, right, in evacuation plans and things like that. But it's more, we know it's more than that. So I want you, I'd like you to reflect on, um, you know, decision-making processes and planning and um, what are your thoughts on that? Well, there is a connection between um, the physical act of leaving people with disabilities behind and the very real social implications of exclusion on the lives of people with disabilities. So until we see people with disabilities at the decision-making table, um, having access to power and not just the built environment, we'll continue to see more and more people with disabilities at the receiving end um, of disasters. We talk about promoting social inclusion like we're doing some favor right. to people about being included and it's really we don't have a right to exclude people. Right. There is a clear economic, social, moral, political case for inclusion. It is in all of our interests to ensure that the most neglected among us are included. It's not a question of doing people a favor. It is a prerequisite for humanity to prosper. That's how I feel about inclusion.